Hi. Well, it's day two on the Hardcore Underground Challenge, 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 Challenge. And I'm at level what? I'm at level 19. I forgot to check and make sure that I stayed below a certain level. So in the future, I will accidentally cheat. Oh, I should also, while I'm thinking about it, I made a poke hole up near the top. I still had lots of coal. Accidentally, I dropped the coal inside the poke hole and sealed it up. So that's why I didn't have much coal on the way down. I didn't even notice that until the video was already on YouTube and I was looking it over to make sure that YouTube had processed it right. Ta-da! So, I can hear lava and I'm digging toward it. When last we left, I was crafting a chest plate. First piece of armor, even if you're a little short on armor, just try to find more iron. Unless you're playing some funky game where you have to be given blocks or something and you can't mine for real. Uh, but if you can, make your first piece of armor a chest plate. It's worth waiting for. It's the best protection. After that, follow it with pants. Even though it's more iron than boots and hat, just do it, okay? It's better protection. I don't know what I'm going to find down here. And I want to be geared up when I open things up because it's possible that cooties have been spawning the whole time I've been down here, you know? By the way, I'm talking to you on my new Logitech uh, la, 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 headset. It's not really a gaming headset, but it's got really good quality. I will have to do a little noise reduction and a little bit of bass boost because it's a little trebly and hissy. But it's uh, much easier to use than my handheld mic. And actually, since my handheld mic was about 10, 15 years old, it's in a lot better shape. I wish I had thought, because I have so much cobble, I wish I had thought to make stairs and and slabs because my hunger bar is going to be going down pretty quick. I'm trying to find the lava and whatever else is down here because now I'm at level 13 so I'm good to go. There's not a whole lot interesting in this episode, except that I'm beginning my base. Now here's one of those things where I should have used cobblestone to fill up the holes. Uh, I think I did actually. Let me, let me see. You know, because anytime you can have... Nope, I jumped in. Anytime you can have the stuff come to you, you place a block and the items pop up. Oh, that's why, because I was looking for this lava. So I have found a chamber, and I have found dirt. So now I can plant food, and now I can grow trees. And I don't have to be so chintzy with things like torches, and pickaxes, and all that good stuff. This leads to an actual cave. I'll be exploring it later. A, a cave that leads to another... Lava Lake. Turns out to be a pretty nice, cozy little place. You know what I wish I'd done and I didn't do with this was built a mob trap. I'm not sure how you'd do it. I guess I could have used... If I hadn't plugged up the top hole when I was coming down, mobs would have spawned and probably fallen down the hole looking for me. And they probably would have died on the way down. Boy, with a little extra wood, I could have made trap doors for them to stand on and fall. Well, I had to hang on to every resource I had doing this. So, you notice I'm hand digging this dirt because I'm not willing to waste the wood on a shovel. That's two whole sticks, which is one-fourth of a plank, and a plank is one-fourth of a log. No. But I do have enough dirt now that I can plant a little farm. But, oh, wow, I wish I hadn't wasted hopping up and down. I mean, it didn't turn out to be critical because I got lucky. But when you're playing hardcore and you don't have any food 
it makes sense not to expend any extra energy at all if possible. I also wish I brought my crafting table down with me on this trip as soon as I found out I had a lava lake. That would have made a heck of a lot of sense. So there's going to be some new things going on on my channel. I'm gearing up. I'm sorry things are happening slowly, but it's taking time for me to learn the things I need to learn. And so it's a little hard to stick to a schedule when the schedule keeps having to be interrupted by other stuff. Uh, it's preparatory things like planning my website, making a bucket for lava. Planning my website, uh, let me see, uh, planning ways that I can earn a living, visiting various servers and so on where I can play. And there's this guy I discovered, there's two really nice guys that I discovered I don't even know how. One of them is Wolfian Decadence. He does interesting survival challenges for himself. Like he did one that where the entire world was a desert biome. So you can imagine how rare it was to find things like trees and animals. There were hardly any animals. The only way he could get chickens was chicken jockeys. Yeah, it was hard. And he found himself a little village. He did the most interesting things in that village. So it was a whole series based just on being in a desert biome. And then there's this other guy. He is so funny. He plays a lot of adventure maps and he does mod reviews and so on. His name is Creekcraft. Creek with a K. Uh, K-R-E-E-K. C-R-A-F-T. And he is so funny. He's funnier than the big YouTubers, a lot of the big YouTubers. When he plays a Let's Play of an adventure map or something, he is so funny. I really enjoy his work. He, neither one of these people have very many views. I don't know how long Creekcraft has been online, but Wolfie and Decadence is brand new to YouTube. So I'm kind of teaming up with them and anybody else who wants to join because uh, watching Wolfie and Decadence in his last series, which was a hardcore series, where he wasn't allowed to craft, we cooked up a thing. And it's called Pillages the Villages. It's even got a Reddit and everything. I'll try to link to all this stuff. Uh, I should probably do a just a real channel announcement about it. Pillages the Villages. You can craft in your 2x2 crafting square in your inventory. And you can use crafting tables that you find in villages, but you may not move them. You may fur use furnaces that you find in villages. And you may craft furnaces, but once you've placed them, you can't pick them up. So, I found a really good seed that we can play. We're going to start in February. It's going to be, normally it'll be three months, but because uh, it's the beginning of the year and we've already gone through January, I'm covering that, so I won't actually accidentally fall in the lava. So, see, I have another lava lake. Uh, this ep this series will be short. It'll only be February and March. And it looks like it's going to be Creekcraft, Wolfie, and Decadence, and me, and anybody else who wants to join us. Pl we're all going to play the same seed, but on single player. And then just um, see how well we do. Uh, you can either travel to other villages, or you can set up camp where you are, whatever you want to do. For every thousand points you get for what's it called statistics like you mined a thousand blocks you swam a thousand blocks you rode a rail car a thousand blocks or a horse or whatever you get 10 points and for every achievement you get like um, diamonds or going to the nether or just opening your crafting thing doing your inventory you get 10 points so people can play it different ways and still be able to acquire a lot of points. You don't all have to fight the weather. You don't all have to do the Ender Dragon, although those are achievements. And the series will last for three months. Uh, looks like the videos will be posted on Fridays. And we put up a subreddit. So that people can post their videos and screenshots and stuff when, they, when they're doing it once a week. And compare progress and that sort of stuff. So it's a way of forming community 
and um, letting people know about the videos that we produce. And they're really nice guys. I like them a lot, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. What I'm trying to do is build a chamber where I can have both a farm and a tree farm at the same time. I'm not going to get it all done in this episode, but I get a good start on it. So, look forward to Pillages the Villages. And what else? Oh, there's going to be more stuff from Fault Symmetry Server. And Zombie's Cleo, Zombie Cleo's server on my channel. More stuff from Cubecraft Creative server. More stuff from what's the other Hypixel. Uh, their creative server. I'm not real interested in their games. I just want to build on their servers. And hardcore challenges when I can do hardcore challenges. I've had such bad luck with them. I'm not mining the redstone because, first of all, I'm not sure what I'll use it for yet. Shouldn't have jumped in the hole. Should have just filled the hole with dirt. Say he's jumping. See, I'm down two hunger pops and I haven't got any food planted yet. And because I don't have water, crops are tricksy. They're going to require a lot of light and a lot of time if I don't find any skeletons for bones for bone meal. Should have stairs. And now I'm coming back up from my crafting table when I've already lost a lot of hunger and didn't plan it too well, but I'm still new at this, but that's why I'm doing this, so I can learn. It sure teaches you to be conscientious about what resources you have available. You know, I'm very low income, and so I have to be very careful with whatever I have and make it last a long, long time. So it won't take me long to get in the habit of doing this right. It's just a matter of getting used to it. So, this is for a new cobble pick and a hoe. Because I'm ready to start planting seeds now. Save my iron pick, poor thing. Oh, I wish I thought to make stairs. Or at least slabs. I will think to make slabs later. To protect myself from the lava, but let the light from the lava shine through. But I needed them for climbing up and down and stuff. Eventually I'll get there, but I wish I'd done it at this point in the game. Saved myself a lot of hunger if I had. Suddenly it occurs to me something could fall on my head. I'm getting ready to move the whole shooting match downstairs now. Especially now that I know there's another cavern back there, so it won't be too hard to dig through. It's really hard for me to see the crosshair when I've got the F3 screen on. So please be patient with me. I'm having a hard time finding where I'm supposed to do stuff. It's very, very small. Also having all the clutter all over the screen. I'm sorry if it's annoying to you too, but I don't have an adequate timer, nor do I trust an adequate timer. So I thought it was best if I just left the F3 up most of the time so I would know where to cut the videos. It's interesting that so many times when I do this, um, I will be in my crafting square or inventory or in a crafting table or a furnace when the day rolls over. So it's a good thing I have the F3 up because I wouldn't have known. I enter my crafting square on day one, I come out on day two, that kind of thing. Just an odd thing that happens. At first I thought of putting a pumpkin in that middle one, because it could grow over. Eventually I think that's going to be where I'm going to plant my tree. I have a lot to dig out to plant trees. Yeah, I did put a pumpkin. But pretty soon the pumpkins will be on the other side of the room. Right here. It's nice having that lava pool because uh, 
iron is actually easier to get a hold of than wood right now so making a bucket and using source blocks of lava to light things with turned out to be a really smart plan yeah this one I had the sense to put the dirt down and not jump in the hole I'm starting to realize how hungry I am and that food is not planted and I don't have the volume on while I'm recording this but it seems to me I heard a skeleton I just didn't pursue it I don't know why I have a full suit of armor I could have done well so far my health is in pretty good shape and I think I'm trying to keep it that way aha remembers to make slabs mm -hmm. got all the after Christmas sales I've got lots of markdown chocolate all my favorite kinds peanut butter cups and kisses and even like dip chocolates where it's got like a creamy filling and chocolate over the top raspberry orange all kinds of really nice flavors chocolate truffle so and like I said I probably told you this after during Thanksgiving and Christmas is when meats are marked down every year you can get meats cheap if you have saved up money and I've been saving since August and for for my year's food budget I managed to get two turkeys two hams a big beef roast that was discounted because the date was up on it that usually would have cost me about well they had a Christmas sale so normally it would have been about eight dollars a pound and the roast would have cost me close to a hundred dollars no way so the sale price was about forty dollars but then he marked it half off because the date was up so I got this beautiful hundred dollar beef roast for thirty dollars I brought it home I split it up I cooked it slowly at a low temperature with uh, potatoes and fresh rosemary and onions and black pepper I bought really good horseradish sauce to put on it made up a nice pan of vegetables to eat with it it was such a treat so most of that's in the freezer most of the turkey most of the two turkeys is in the freezer most of the ham is in the freezer and it should be enough food plus I also found markdown chicken and other stuff so it should be enough meat to last me close to a year it's all in the freezer so I'm feeling much safer about my food budget and I have canned goods and dried goods you know like flour and um, rice and pasta things like that yeah they need to be on the bottom they need to be on on the bottom half so nothing can spawn Oh, and I got 50 pounds of potatoes because potatoes were on sale at during Thanksgiving time. They're in a closet where they can't freeze, but they won't be exposed to any sunlight, so they can't turn green. If you see a potato that has turned green, don't eat it. it it's the uh, chemicals are toxic to humans, so don't eat a green potato. All right. I've survived day two. I'm running out of time. I'm getting ready to put lava here to make those plants grow faster. And that's about it for me. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you. Uh, when is the next one due? I think on Friday. So, thank you very much for watching. And remember that I'd hug you, but my arms don't bend. Have a great day. Bye.